So we're just about to arrive at Ants Hill and I am so excited. Oh my god, it's amazing. Hamptons here. Wow. wow. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. Look yeah, at this incredible view. No, you can actually see the mine. Wow. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel from South Africa. Yeah, we are so excited to be here. We're going to be doing a horse riding safari this week. And yeah, this is just a dream come true. I can't even believe that we're here. It hasn't sunk in yet. It hasn't sunk in. We've, yeah. it's, we've always like wanted to come to Africa. Yeah. And it's also a horse riding safari, which makes it like a hundred times better. Yeah, so it's not only just seeing the animals. Uh, we're actually going to be doing it on horseback, which is... Just incredible and I just I just can't wait. This is our first day. We arrived here this morning and yeah, we have got one hell of a trip planned and the itinerary is just incredible, isn't it? Oh my god, it is so Yeah, they just amazing. told us over lunch now, they just said what we're gonna be doing this afternoon. So yeah, shortly we're gonna be going for a ride and then we're gonna be uh, feeding the rhinos at uh, sundown. So yeah, it's just gonna be epic and I can't wait to bring you along on this really, really exciting adventure. We're here with African Horse Safaris and they were actually incredible at picking a trip for us because they uh, do safaris all over Africa. And with Harlow being so young and me not riding all of the time, uh, this particular uh, reserve was the most perfect one. So they really, really helped uh, choose which one was gonna be most suitable. And on this particular reserve, we're staying at Ants Hill Lodges. Um, so there's Ants Hill, which is the one we're staying at, and there's Ants Nest, and they're very, very close together. You can even ride to um, each um, of the different properties. And so on this whole reserve, it's quite a small reserve, but you do go riding out for hours and hours. But they have um, all of the animals, basically, apart from the elephants, and lions and we can actually still go and see them because we can drive uh, off of the reserve and go to another one so it's kind of like getting the best of both um, because this is going to be really suitable for us because um, you have to be riding at a certain level to be able to go um, into those types of reserves with the, where the big cats are um, so yeah this was the perfect starter safari for us so yeah African horse safaris were amazing uh, finding us the perfect trip and also if you want to bring non-horsey uh, family uh, or friends you can definitely do that here there's people on their honeymoon so the 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 wives are really into the riding and then the husbands have got no experience whatsoever so and they're like yeah. really supportive with the riding as well like they like choose the horse that's, that's like perfect for you yeah they ask exactly what you like whether you like them forward going or really relaxed or you want to be kicking along um, and also children of all ages they they cater for so yes if that sounds like what you need then African horse safaris and ants lodges is definitely perfect for you um, and I just want to say a really big thank you to African Horse Safaris for arranging this whole trip and for hosting us on this trip. Uh, it really is uh, just such a pinch me moment. And it's incredible here, like the views are insane. Yeah. Right guys, I think I should give you a little tour around our lodge. It's absolutely huge. It is, it's very huge for two people. This one actually sleeps five people, so it's perfect for a family. Right, should we go start from the front door? Yes. Yeah, we're actually upstairs at the moment. Hey guys, and welcome to our lodge. So we've actually got all of our suitcases here. We just went for lunch, so we haven't had time to unpack and everything. But it's all pretty organised at the moment until we start unpacking. So this is like the lounge or the couch area, whatever you want to call it. Um, but there's a fireplace, I don't know if we'll be lighting that because... It's pretty hot. Yeah. 
um, but it's surprisingly cool in here. They also said you've got to keep all of the doors closed because monkeys and baboons get inside. I've never actually like met a monkey or a baboon, apart from Monkey World. Do you remember when they like broke our windscreen? But here is like the outside area. This is the terrace. And guys, just look at this view. How gorgeous is it? And you should see from the upstairs balcony as well. It's insane and the amazing thing is when you're done with your ride they'll take all of the tack off the horse and then just let them go free and they'll just wander around the reserve like freely we've got our own pool at this lodge we're staying at a world view cottage and the pool is actually like a really good temperature it's like lukewarm so perfect i think you actually want to get in it mum look at it it's incredible so this is the downstairs bedroom. So it's got two beds. Well, it's actually got three. You can sleep a third person here, like a day bed. Yeah. Um, and then there's some wardrobes here. And then there's an amazing thing in the bathroom. Look at the lovely ceilings. Amazing. And then look at the shower, guys. Is this real? You know when you're like lining up to go to like on the rides in like Polkins Park or something? Disneyland. Or Disneyland or any sort of like theme park and they've got all like these stones. Doesn't that remind you of it? Yeah it does. Like the entrance and oh my gosh it's just incredible. There's actually a little toilet around here isn't there? Yeah and whilst you're like on the toilet you can like, you've got a view as well. Yeah, it actually faces out towards the window. <laughs> I just hope when like someone's not going on the toilet when like the people got like on the trail ride right, you're going Imagine a giraffe just poking his head in. <laughs> and look at this bathtub. There's actually three baths in this like house. So a lot of baths but Yeah. One thing I said I was like, Oh I hope they've got a bath because I'm you've gonna got, be aching. You've got options, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be aching, but They've got massage, massage lady here. And they, you can go to the massage like room or they can come here. So yeah, so. I've got one in for tomorrow. So I know I'm going to be needing that. Yep. Should we go on upstairs? Yeah. These are the water bottles they give you at the start of the trip. So you can take them on like a trail rides or like where we're going tonight with the rhinos. So this is the master bedroom. This is where me and mum are sleeping. It's amazing, isn't it? It's so nice. This is bath number two, and I love all the stones, cobble around it, so pretty. There's two sinks, and then again with the amazing shower. I also, there's a shower outside as well. Downstairs, but this shower is just like shower goals shower girls <laughs> and then this has got to be like the most amazing bit about the whole like house it's the top balcony look at this view absolutely incredible and then we've got bath number three so if you want to have a little soak outside soak with a view yeah Imagine if like you're having a bath and then like a giraffe just comes up over there and it starts like Hopefully having a little chat. Hopefully. That would be like Oh that would be amazing. Yeah, the main thing we want to see this trip is the giraffes, isn't it? Giraffes. And the rhinos. And the rhinos and the elephants. So we're just unpacking now. They told us to pack a lot of neutral colours so we like blend in. I'll show you what I've packed. I've got the spruce top. I've also got the spruce leggings in here. It's a lot of beiges, browns and greens and stuff. We just packed a white shirt because why not? <laughs> it was cool. Yeah. We've bought quite a bit because we're going to be riding twice a day. Um, they can do your like laundry here, but we didn't really know that. So we just kind of like pack loads.
so we're just on our way now to like the main the main lodge this is where you have your breakfast lunch dinner afternoon tea so first ride harley oh the saddles look so different oh my gosh hello shenzi nice gray for you oh yeah the saddles do look comfy Yeah, which one's you my one? I'm sorry, the coloured one here. I'm on the black and white one. Yeah. They're quite fluffy, aren't they? Yeah. I thought they'd have thinner coats. Yeah, it's like sleek and... Uh, yeah. Okay. Is this their winter coats? Yeah. They get yeah, thinner? starting to come off, yeah. Oh. Even though it's so hot, they've just got their winter coats. Ready? Awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> we'll sort that out. Come over here. What's the saddle like, Harley? It's really comfy. A bit shorter. A bit short. Okay, try. That's good. Uh, maybe one, sh one, one shorter. One more. Okay, Little legs. Okay, yeah, try that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, let me get this. Actually, maybe one shorter. No, no, I ride so short. Everyone here laughs at me. Because they say I look like a jockey. Okay, what about that? Perfect. That's handy because that's the last hole. Oh. Okay. I feel like a cart horse, babes. Huh? Got camera in here, camera in here. It's about panda size, isn't it? No, it's a bit smaller. Do you think it's smaller? Yeah. Oh, it's definitely narrower. Definitely smaller. Panda's oh, massive. Comfy. I need one of these saddles at home. Yeah. These saddles are real comfy. So oh. these saddles are made for trails, so long distances. Yeah. Oh, this is what I need. Yeah. Right. I'm ready. I've got a big camera in there in case I see any drafts. <laughs> There's no booze in there. Just the essentials. <laughs> thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you so much. This mum doesn't. This mum doesn't get any booze. There's no time for booze in my life, is there, darling? Nope. No. What about on this holiday? No, I'm always working. And we're off. Oh, I need one of these saddles, Hals. Good luck trying to find one to buy. <laughs> Panda needs one. So there's an antelope there. Wow. So because the because they're coming out of winter, the grass hasn't been great. Yes. You supplement their we diet, supplement yeah. Their diet here, yes. And so this roan is taking advantage of it now. On the right hand. Oh my god! a rhino over there. Is it laying down? It's laying down. No way. Laying down. Oh, no. Oh, okay. oh my god. Oh my gosh, they're huge. I cannot believe this. So young yeah. ones. Young ones. Oh, they're not even... <laughs> no way. Oh my gosh. I'm wow. afraid you're a little too big to be hiding behind the tree. <laughs> so, yeah, he's getting to the age where he's getting quite curious. Oh, uh, really? So he comes closer to the horses, mm. which we don't specifically enjoy too much. Yeah. Um, Vienta just backed up a bit, I think. <laughs> yeah, Vienta, you can see the ears of Vienta. Yeah. He's like, mm, he's I don't know about this one. Whereas Shenzi doesn't care. <laughs> he's ears. He's like, oh my goodness. So we just got quite close yeah. to Rhino. Yeah. That was amazing. And we're even getting closer to Rhino this afternoon. I know. Tonight we're getting so close we could touch them tonight. But we're not going to. No way. So we'll be on a little wall and they'll be feeding right there. Really? I can't wait. Oh, so here's the stable. So they just wander free wherever they want. They know they've got to come back for breakfast. Yes. See the kudu? Kudu in front of us. Oh my gosh. To 
Carla, how's your pony? Good. Do you like it? Yeah, do you like yours? Yeah, my one's lovely. You haven't got to do anything. <laughs> Just does it for you. It's very sweet. I want this one tomorrow. I think they do work, have a day off work. Day off. They, they only do one ride a day, the ponies, I think. Yeah. What animal are you hoping to see the most, Harlow? Ah, uh, giraffe now. Yeah, same. <gasps> Mama, what? Warhogs. Oh, wow. Oh, they're just down this area. So they're warthogs and they actually like run with their tails like up in the air, like vertical. It's really funny. If you've watched The Lion King, they're pumbas, but they are warthogs. Very cute. Yeah. <gasps> what does she say? Giraffe. No way. Yes, over there. No, no way. Come on, Serengeti. Hurry up, babes. <laughs> Come on, babes. We've got, we've got to see a giraffe. Oh my God, it's between in the trees. Oh, it's tiny. It's tiny. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, I see the mum in the background. Where? Oh, so, oh, yeah, about so 20 metres behind. Hi. Hi. Nice ride, everyone. Yeah, it was yeah. amazing. Glad you enjoyed it. Oh, this is different because there's a horn there. Normally, I like apparently you've got to get your leg right over the back as well. Normally, I'm used to like yeah, okay. leaning right forward, but there's like a pommel there, so I can't. Go on then, give it a go. I'll watch you do it first. Oh, easy. Oh, they just can be free now. Yeah. Goodbye, ponies. Are you ready for us to untack this? Yeah. <laughs> and they're just here. And they're just going to be wild. Oh, that one. Look, goes. they just take their take oh, the tackle. That one's off. over there. And off they go. Yeah, I'm going to have to... Uh, Amazing. Oh, nice and dirty that one is now. Oh, that one's panda, that one. Oh, they put all the tack in the truck. Yeah. And off they go. Yeah. And they'll come back to the stables in the morning for their breakfast. Oh, I love this truck. When you've got to go around, you're going around that side. Oh, am I? Okay. Or you can come around if you want. <laughs> come on, babes. Come on, mummy. She's coming. Just come here for drinks. See the rhinos. A bit of tension going on. Yeah. Are they all males? No, so there's one female. She's winding 
own business in the back there. Oh yeah. Um, so you can see the difference if you look at the horns. So the horns on these three males, quite thick at the base, not too long and also not too sharp at the top. Whereas her horns very thin and very long. Amazing, I can't believe how close it's, we that's are. That's the girl there. Oh, that's the female one. <laughs> There's some beef going on. Buddy, you got a share. Oh wow, they're so beautiful. How do they not like, if they lift their head up and then just like their horns go into the tech? Oh, look at his eyelashes. Oh you my see gosh. them? Yeah. Carlo, can you believe how close you are? Can you easily identify who? It's amazing. So we're back at our cottage. Carlo's lit the candle. It smells citrony, so I think that's for the mozzies. Got a lovely bath running. I've had turn down service, and they've put this net around the bed, haven't they? Mm. So I think that's for the mozzies as well. I think we're going to be well protected but everyone did say they've not been they've not been bitten didn't they yeah so it's maybe it's the time of year no, i don't know that light oh that's not the that's not the right light look oh ruins the vibes oh ruin the vibe peaceful vibes yeah so what was your favorite bit about today my favorite bit um probably seeing like being able to like literally touch the rhinos and seeing the giraffes yeah the baby giraffes yeah that was amazing, wasn't it? It was so cute. I know. It was I so it. tiny. I it, was it was only about the size of popcorn, wasn't it? And the baby giraffe. Yeah, it was so cute. Oh, so, oh, it was a bit bigger, but it was so like... It was had so really cute. big knees as well. Yeah, and I, tomorrow I want to see the little pumbas a bit closer up. Yeah. I really want to see them closer up. Um, the horses were lovely. They were so nice. Yeah, I love my one. I hope I get that one tomorrow. So here's where we're having dinner. What a lovely setting. We need our waters. Yeah, so the bar's in here. Then you can sit around here. This is where you go out and meet the trucks. You keep the riding boots and hats here. And I think they set up dinner every day and breakfast and in a different spot all the time. So you get to see all the different settings. Oh, the fire's on. Good morning, guys. It is day two of being in South Africa today, and we're just heading off to the stables now, and we're actually going swimming with the horses today, which is really exciting. Um, I cannot wait. These stables are so different. Imagine if we put Calvi in one of these. Oh yeah, he'll be under. <laughs> All of the horses actually like live out in the wild, and like, you would have seen yesterday. Once you've once you're done riding, you just like untack them, and then they just like go wandering off, and then they come back in the morning for their breakfast. A spotty, a Wow, so spotty. It's like a Dalmatian. He looks like a Dalmatian, <laughs> and you don't and you don't find much of them. There's not a lot of them that's got proper spots like this. So have these ones come in this morning for their breakfast, and then they'll stay in? Oh, that one's trying to get out. Yeah, always. So yeah, they come in twice a day. So they basically come in in the mornings. We get them, take their temperatures, and we feed them. And then once we're done with them, they go out. Oh, okay. So then they go out and they and they go graze and they have a nice, nice, nice life. And then this afternoon at two o'clock they come back in again. So we feed them twice a day, take temperatures, and the ones going out riding, they'll get saddled and taken over to the to the guests, and the rest go out. And then most, all of them sleep out in the night, so they all can graze and and be have normal horse lives in the evenings. And um, why do you take their temperatures? No, it's just we've got a lot of we've got a lot of illnesses here, so obviously ticks. 
Uh, yeah. And we've got an illness called African horse, horse sickness as well. Yeah. So the first thing when it comes to horses, colicking, all those things. So it's important, you know, as soon as their temperature go up, up and down, then you know um, there's something wrong with them. So it's yeah. normally just to pick up any of this, any problems with any of the horses. That's normally the first signs is their temperatures. And they each know, the horses are so clever. So if they come in in the mornings, they each know where their stall is. So each oh. of them, we don't actually need to put them in. They all walk and they go stand and they wait for their food. No way. Yeah, each of them know exactly. And if you put them on the wrong st in the wrong store, they get really upset. <laughs> that that what sounds like they my make their way in, in the morning. Uh, they normally wait here for you. In the summer times, it's a little bit harder to to get them because obviously then there's a lot of grazing. So then then we have to go find them. But in the winter times now, when there's there's no food around, they all stand here. So seven o'clock, if we get here, we're all here and we open up and they come in. But like summer times, you have to sometimes drive up to half an hour to 45 minutes to find them because they literally just disappear. <laughs> we'll have to do that one more we'll have to come and watch yeah. yeah, you should actually come in the morning to have the rhinos. It'll be so nice if you guys can yes. see the rhinos also standing here with the rhinos them. rhinos with the horses. No, yeah, that's at 7 o'clock in the morning. We should come and pick you guys up and come and have a look. So how many horses have you got here? So we've got 40, what is it, 46 now at the moment. Oh, wow. We've got 46 here and 46 at the, at the, at the nest. Yeah, all in all, almost, yeah, almost 100. Oh my gosh. <gasps> well, with this one, it's 47 now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Almost two weeks old. So we called them Lindani, so that means waited for long because she was pregnant for how long and every time that we say to him, it's going to happen this week, it's going to happen this week, it was another week. So we were all anticipating almost for two months that he's going to come and he's going to come. And then when everybody basically gave up hope, then he basically arrived. So cute. Oh, is that a good edgy spot? Is that a good edgy spot? So this little pony, is he eating like he really like green hay or just So like this is like alfalfa grass. grass, so we call it lucerne out there. So just a high protein, it's like a high protein grass that we give them. Um, so this is not their main diet, this is just like certain horses if they, if they need to bulk up a little bit more. Um, we have got, so they've got normal, normal feed that we give them and then we give them normal grass. This is normally just for the horses that need to bulk up a little bit, especially now in the winter because um, there's not a lot of grass out at the moment. Today I'm riding Shenzi who I rode yesterday and he's very very cool. He's quite calm in the walk but he does he does feel quite like spicy in the canter. Um, he's got quite a like a weird like rocky canter. It's taking, it's, I think it's going to take me a little while to get to know and apparently that's what everyone says about him so.
touchdown. I'm not getting away, didn't work. Again, so I'll help these guys get on their horses. If somebody can come in with Oh, that hurt my feet. Oh, I yeah, said a rabbit poop. Or oh, whatever poo it is. Horse poo. The tiny little pellets. Huh? Impala. Oh, no, 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 that's impala poo. Come on, Chance! Are you going to go with your girlfriend again? No, you're going to run. Hey, where did my slippers go? Not my slippers. Chance is going to be very sad tomorrow. Would you like to be the child? I got some good stuff. Oh, that's so sandy. <laughs> Gonna go again? She did it a lot. Oh, shit. And then I was like, shit. I'm scared of you. It's tan orange. roll over me or something. Normally, the water, they won't roll, they just go down. Sometimes they go on the side, but that's only yeah. really shallow. Shenzi face planted. Huh? Shenzi face planted. Oh, Shenzi's off. Come on, Shenz. Oh, bye bye, Lulu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's Jenny's boss. Boss boy. Alright, so you can just pass the bridle here. It's so funny, they just like get let off. Bye, Shenzi. So, lunch is about to be served. They're just bringing it out. I think we've got, I think it's ham, egg, and chips. Food here is just beautiful. So nice. And then Harlow. Harlow's down here at the pool. There's also a massage room over here. Um, what's in this one? Oh, this is like a dining room, isn't it, Harlow, in there? <laughs> ha. That's where we're going to have lunch. I'm having a massage later, aren't I? Yes. I'm having mine in the room, though. to get a stone, he likes stones. Oh does he? He does. Let me show you. So we just parked here for our afternoon ride and we spotted a rhino eating the horse's hay. So he's now come out but we're gonna go say hello kind of we're not gonna get too close. Well that I think that pony was waiting for the rhino to leave. This is probably your, the closest you'll get to a, a wild rhino so Wow. Do you find them in there like quite regularly? He comes in, so obviously now there's, there's food around. They don't, like I said this morning, they're struggling to get food at the moment. So everywhere where there's grass now, so we normally give them this time of the year, we give them food just to supplement them, just to get them through the, through the dry season now. In the summertime, they do their own thing and they eat, but now there's no grass for them. So we're just giving them so they're very opportunistic, obviously, if, if they can find food in the air. I mean, they'll break sometimes into the, into the paddock as well, just to come and eat the horse's grass as well. You're a bit dry now. Hmm? It's a bit drier. So we're just heading out now. We're going to try and find some giraffes and some rhinos. Yeah. Ready? Mm -hmm. yeah. 
that a male? That's a male, yeah. What's the difference between male and female? So the female, females got the males are normally bigger and you can see the male's horns. They've got, they like bold spots on top of their horns. Oh yeah. So the males when they fight, they, they call nipping, so they hit each other and that's why. Bit of a rolling party going on here. Yes. This is our spot for sunset, isn't it, Harley? Yeah. We're gonna have drinks. Oh, that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Harley, they're rolling in the water. Popcorn wood. 100% do that if we were to let him, wouldn't he? Quite everyone's bums, like when they were rolling. Look at them. <laughs> that one just bit the bum. That just got fun. They like the water then. They love it. Oh, they're rolling on the dirt track over there. Everyone's soggy. That um, one over there, the piebald one, that one's very cheeky. That one's... I can't believe they're rolling in the water. <laughs> <laughs> I, think that, I think that one's realised that it's kind of impossible. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, grab anything. A non alcoholic beverage. You're not feeling wine. <laughs> what are you going for? This. Breakfast juice. This is what I had last time. If it isn't, go try something new. This is really good. There is a little base. Oh, yeah, there's a couple of babies. Sorry. Sorry, Oh, wow. It's got really spring rolls out, like. I'm not yeah. even right. Has that anyone not good. got a drink? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, enjoy, I really enjoy that. You're enjoying it too.
Good morning from South Africa. We're just getting ready and I went out on the balcony to see how cold it was. Um, see what I needed to wear. And then I looked over there and there's a sofa. There's actually one behind like these trees as well, but yeah. Oh, there's two. Look, if you come over here, there's one behind that tree. All right, getting ready to ride. Yep. So we've got three and about three and a half hour ride this morning. Yeah, we're gonna try and look for some zebras. Yeah, but we're going to a different part today. We've not been over there, have we? No. Uh, so hopefully we'll see some different animals as well, but mainly zebras. Mainly zebras. Although I do feel like we've seen them this morning, which was a complete surprise. Yeah, I, lo I looked out on the balcony because I was um, putting like bug repellent on, and I looked out because I went to go do it on the balcony, and then I looked out and I was like, is that a zebra? Um, and but also, yeah. everything's um, not fenced off, is it, House? What do you mean? So anything can walk up to your room, it's not all. Yeah. Thank you. There's your booties. All right. And there's your hat. Thank you. Right, so we're just going to jump in the truck. It's just mad, isn't it? Because casually there's a rhino there. Yeah. Hello, boy. Strolling around the yard. Is this is Shenzi. This is your horse you've been riding all the time, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You're getting on well with this one. Yes. Getting used to the canter. Yeah. This is their water trough here. And before they go on the rides, they have a little drink. So I've packed lighter today. I've just got one, well, just a rucksack with this little camera and GoPro and phones. So yeah, it was actually really hard to canter the other day with so much in the bag. It kept like bouncing. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. But yeah, I'm really excited for Really excited to see some zebras, hopefully. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Seen loads of rhinos now, loads, and I cannot believe how close we've got to them. It's just not normal, is it, Harlow? No. And you can get a lot closer up to the animals on horseback than what you could in like a safari truck. So, because they're so used to them, aren't they? Yeah. The animals, like the rhinos and stuff, are so used to the horses because they all live out together. Um, so it's just been incredible how, and the giraffes, how close we've got to the giraffes as well. So, yeah, if you want to get up close, definitely do a safari on horseback. Serengeti just having a little drink before we go out. Excited? Yeah. Some rhinos there. Another one there. Is there none here? But there is little civet tracks here. Yeah, so have a look at the civet tracks here on the left. They look like little cat tracks. Oh yeah. So a civet is a nocturnal animal. It's only about the size. Little greyish black animal. So there's some leopard tracks oh, down cool. there. Yeah, quite I didn't think you had any leopards. We do, we do. So the leopards that are on the property, they move from the property to the next property. Oh, the next they one. jump the fence. They jump fence, yeah. So no one technically owns leopards. Leopards are everywhere. Leopards are everywhere. So it's a bit like the monkeys as well. Yes. Um, in Johannesburg. If you live in Johannesburg where there's a lot of open fields and things, chances are a leopard walks past. Really? Yeah. Even in right, residential areas? Even in residential Oh my areas. gosh. Welcome. There we go. Harley's go. pony's got himself in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> Isn't he? <laughs> yeah, he's for a tree. It was a present to the zebra. That's something popcorn would do. Yeah. Wow, so many zebras. Oh my gosh, there's so many.
Oh my gosh! More giraffe. So that was really, really good. We got to see loads of zebras and a lot of giraffes as well. Um, we, also saw, we got to see some monkeys and baboons. We got um, really close to the warthogs for the first time, didn't mm. we? Because normally we've been passing them, but they just do the runner, don't they? Yeah. So yeah, very successful ride this morning. We've got to go get ready now because we're doing the big five this afternoon. So. Yeah, so we're going to a different reserve this afternoon on another safari, aren't we? Mm. And we're going to be seeing, hopefully, elephants, lions, hippos. Um, Look at that horse. Oh, just going through the path. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we can't wait for that. Mm. We're going to be sitting in a truck though, not riding. Yeah. So yeah, we have a bit of lunch now, freshen up, change clothes. Yep. And then, yeah, and get ready. Look at ready. Mum's horse. Thumbs for that cheese. It's itching its bum. Right, let's go get some lunch. Where'd Shenzi go? of them. Because cars have been driving here yeah, on top of How many um, elephants do you have here? Uh, almost a hundred. Almost a hundred. Oh. In the reserve though. That's a cool shot. Let me see it.
And they walk down the hill as well? Yes. Really? But they won't walk like straight, they'll walk so elephants Sideways. are quite, Yeah. Elephants are quite smart, they use the, the road um, following the gradient. It might not be the quickest, shortest way, but it will be the easiest way. So even if you're climbing a mountain or going up a hill, and you know elephants are walking there, just walk on where the elephants are walking. This is going to be the smoothest, easiest incline. Mm -hmm. Oh look, can you see them picking that up, picking them leaves up? <coughs> so elephants need to eat 10% of their body weight every day. Oh. So let's say this, I would estimate about, what, two and a half, three, three tons. So I feel like we haven't had much chance to talk. It's been so full on, hasn't it? It's been very busy. We actually didn't ride this morning because we need a bit of a line to yeah. recharge everything. Yeah, we went on that, that big five uh, safari uh, yesterday evening as well, which was out of this world. Absolutely amazing. And I'm so glad that we did it. We've seen everything we wanted to see. So we've seen the elephants, which was just surreal. Uh, the lions, the I could hippos. have watched them all day, the lions. It was like we were in a scene of the Lion King. It literally was. I know it's exaggerating, but it was, they <laughs> were, there was like all these young cubs and then they were uh, like chasing all of the warthogs. And they like missed every and single And failing time. <laughs> miserably, but oh, I just could have sat there for hours. Um, and then the hippos, the whole thing was just so fascinating. And then on the drive back, we actually got to saw a spotted hyena, which is yeah. like extremely rare. Yeah, the guide here, he said like, you know, he's been sending people on this safari for like 20 years and they've never seen a hyena. So, and not only did we see it, so we was like, f like following the hyena, um, then it found, um, I don't go into too much detail because I know we've got young li watchers, but it found, they found something dinner. to eat. It's found something to eat. And we was literally a meter away from it in the truck. It was just so crazy. Um, so yeah, really, really surreal experience. And uh, I could have just sat and watched them all for hours really. Um, so then we came back, we got back late last night and this morning I was just like, that's just not right today. Um, needed a lie-in, I had a massage, Harlow went in the pool. For the first time. <laughs> yeah, because we just haven't had a chance. And the best thing is, like here, you can just every uh, morning, you can... An afternoon. Yeah, and the night before. So the night before, at, um, dinner. at dinner, they'll say, right, what do you want for breakfast tomorrow? You can pick anything you want. Um, and then uh, they'll say, right, what do you want to do? Do you want to ride in the morning? And then we said, look, we'll just have the ride off. Um, and then we just chose to have a late breakfast. We had it at nine o'clock. Yeah. And it was the sweetest thing because they set up like this little table. Table for two with the, with the view. Oh my God, it's amazing. And then I was like, oh, could I have a massage as well? So they sorted that out. So everything is done. You don't have to do it really far in advance. They just do it pretty last minute. Yeah. And um, yeah, and then we, yeah, just had some lunch and then we're going to go and ride. So when you have your lunch, they then say, right, what's everyone want to do for this afternoon? And then they'll choose like the spot where you're going to have your sundowners, where they where they bring the truck and then you have drinks with the sunset and you let the horses go. And yeah, it's just We had amazing. sundowners at the lake the other night, the, the dam. And um, that was the night we went swimming with them. 
and uh, they set like all the tables up with all the drinks and like snacks and um after we went swimming we all let the horses go and they were all like rolling in the water and it would and then like all of them it was about how many seven horses all rolling in this one space it was like a rolling rolling competition rolling you get party. The dirtiest. yeah yes i feel like we've been here for quite a few days now and that we just know how it works yeah. and yeah it's just yeah really 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 special and yeah one thing if you're going to come i wish i didn't pack so much stuff because they wash all your clothes and uh, even if you don't, if you leave them on the floor, they're going to get washed. So the other yesterday, we was like, oh my God, where's this stuff? Where's this stuff? I also really <laughs> recommend getting one of these t-shirts because we've been wearing this like every single ride. Yeah. They're the most like comfiest things and they actually keep you quite cool Keep you well. cool, yeah. But then also keep you warm. They're just brilliant. Um, but mm. yeah, so then I, I was like, uh, I think our stuff's been uh, been washed. And yeah, they, they come back with the laundry basket that day and it's all freshly washed. And it's just brilliant. And so I've been wearing a lot of the same stuff and I've packed so much more. And also here, like some people come here, they don't even uh, ride at all. They said they just come here and they chill, they go by the pool, they go out for walks um, and just go on like truck drives. So uh, you can definitely come here and not ride if you want to bring uh, family members or if you just don't want to ride every morning and afternoon, you, you definitely can. You can ride can, like yeah. once every day or two. Like it's so flexible, like, up to you and yeah yeah it's really good um so yeah our plan for this afternoon is harlow's going to go to the stable spend some time with the horses we're actually going to see them all like because what they do is they let them all out in the morning um and when they bring them when they come all in the, the gates shut so they, there's like 20 horses all waiting by the gate to come yeah. in and get fed um so we're going to go and see that and then they all like race to their stables they all know which is their table and if you put I know we've not seen it yet though so we've not seen this is just on the yeah that we've just been told that all the horses know their stable so they open the gates up they all run in and then they all go and find their like little bedroom so cute Uh, but this is not going to be on this vlog we're going to film this as a completely separate vlog so if you want to see that that's going to be our next upload um so it's going to be like a tack up ride with me south africa edition um so yeah we're going to go and do that this afternoon um so yeah we'll probably see you on the vlog a little bit later if not tomorrow and yeah tomorrow is actually our last day um so we yeah we are riding tomorrow we're also swimming again tomorrow yeah because i so. haven't swum yet so um yeah i'm gonna go in tomorrow so yeah we'll see you a little bit later bye what an amazing day we've had today um we filmed a lot of really really good content i wore my gopro today and mum flew the drone and we saw loads of animals and it was absolutely amazing. Today is going to be an entirely different vlog so stay tuned for the next video. Don't miss it, it's going to be amazing. Today I rode a different horse and I can't tell you how much like popcorn he was. He was literally, after you like went for a little gallop, he like, he jog as well or if like, um, because what we do when we gallop is we stand still and like he, the um, leader asks, oh we were ready for a gallop like or went to go stop my pony would start like jogging and i think that's what popcorn would do but i'm just getting ready for dinner now i'm going to cleanse my face i'm going to do a bit of skincare my two lands um we don't have that long so i think when should i put this face mask on because i brought it and i really wanted to try it i'm going to tell me two lands can I get anything else out of this pot? Ugh. Right. That's going to have to be enough moisturiser because I simply just can't get anything else out of the pot. Put my toothpaste back. Then, I don't know how much I've got left of this. Hopefully it's not as low as the other one. I'm gonna put use a bit more extra of this because I've got no moisturizer. So I'm gonna put some of these clarify We went for a little bit of gallop today. It was a bit more of a faster ride and it was really really fun. This stuff is amazing. It like stays on for quite a long time as well because 
some like lip balms I get like you put them on and like five minutes later they're like completely dried out but this one stay like doesn't dry out lovely jubbler this is a bit of a mess um I'm just gonna I'm also gonna redo my hair and I need to get dressed um I don't I kind of lost my phone it gets a little bit chillier at night but it's actually been a lot hotter today and it's actually not as cold in the nights um and they say it's gonna be even hotter tomorrow mom's going swimming tomorrow and so am i swimming with the horses um because i went a day ago i think um and mum was like getting some photos and um some videos and she hasn't been swimming yet and a couple of the other guests haven't they were going to go swimming again i don't know i think i might be riding shenzi for that because the pony i was riding today um there's really like water so i might be riding the pony that i've been riding right now i'm gonna go get changed this isn't like something out of a horror movie don't worry guys so every single night they do these little like power checks and um we like candles are the lights out is that, is that load shedding thing? oh they're back on just to keep a candle in the room we have loads downstairs in the living room um and then one's just always in their bedroom so if it lights out we can just grab a grab a candle i'm gonna put this down because i'm afraid i'm gonna drop it what i'm gonna wear tonight so i'm gonna wear this because it gets quite chilly but not that chilly but i'm gonna wear this this so like it's from Pom. It's a like fleecy. Is it focused? It is focused. It's from Pom. It's like a fleecy like jumpery t-shirt thing, and it's going to keep me quite warm. I'm going to bring a jacket down just in case it starts to get a bit more chillier. I'm going to wear these jeans. I've literally been wearing these like every single night for dinner. Um, they're from Zara. Oh, they're inside out. They're from Evanescence. Oh, they're from M&S. Oh yeah, I forgot they did clothes. I just remembered there was like a food shop. If we don't see you guys um, after we've had our dinner, then yeah, to la tonight's our last evening in South Africa and tomorrow will be our last morning. I do really want to come back here because it's absolutely amazing. Yeah, you've got one ride in the morning, haven't we? One last yeah, time. one last ride. We're going to have a little ride down to the... Uh, like dam um we're gonna go for like a trail oh, we're go swimming, aren't we? yeah just turning down the candles <sighs> don't want to set our lodge on fire <sighs> you don't want to set the lodge on fire my dear lens <sighs> otherwise we'd be kicked out before we actually need to leave before it's our our due date to leave But yeah, these little like candle things are really good, Mum, aren't they? Oh, I love them. Because like when it was the blackout, I just picked one up and started walking around with it. <sighs> oh, the candles are out, my darlings. They're little milk sachets. Oh, well, I can have a cup of tea then. Mum oh. can have a cup of tea. Perfect. But babes, we got to leave. No, we've got, we've got 15 minutes. I'm going to have a cup of tea before dinner. No. Dinner's at 7. 7.30. Oh. <laughs> How can I not do accents and you can? What happened? I don't really know. Mum's making a cup of, a cup of tea. Is that uploading some of the GoPro footage too? I'm uploading all the content. Got these for my birthday so pretty i've actually been wearing them quite a lot here they are getting a little bit dusty so i do need to clean them but i'm gonna wait till i get home then i'm gonna literally gonna clean everything um my boots need a massive clean because they are literally like dead up they dust they are dust all right so we are all good to go we have got 15 minutes till we leave but 
It's always good to be prepared because we'll find something to be late for. Good morning and it's actually the next day now so it's our last day as well which is really 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 sad. So we've got one last ride before we leave and we're actually swimming with the horses and mum Mum didn't get to swim with them last time so she's swimming today and then we've got to pack up a lot of stuff and fold it all because otherwise it won't fit um and yeah we're just gonna it's gonna take a while to pack everything up especially as this like lodge is huge so i'm gonna head to breakfast now guys and i'll see you when we're on the ride There's loads of buffalo and zebras. Big male here. Texas. Shenzi's fast. So we've just spotted a second herd of buffalo. And we're gonna see if like the big boss is here. His name's Texas. So Oh my gosh. Oh they they're getting in the trough. Oh my gosh, they get in the trough to drink. Also to try and cool themselves down. Yeah. What's my one called? Uh, 
Lulu. Lulu. Yeah. Oh, Shenz. Shenzi, not on my one, please. Whoa. Oh, my time having a drink. My one's having a drink, darling. Thirsty. There's a lot of splashing. Fred, can you tell me where I'm going? Look at my, does my one sit down? Oh my oh, God! Just walk it off! Ah! Just walk it off! Don't take the camera! Oh my God! <laughs> Well, oh, oh, oh. give with the rain. Stop screaming! <laughs> oh my god! Stop screaming, Mum! You I make can't help it. you make everyone scared. <laughs> Don't scream. Oh my god, look at that one! That one was just bucking that's cantering off.